A healthy hip can be damaged by disease such as arthritis or injury. When the cartilage wears away, bone-on-bone -bone rubbing occurs, resulting in lack of motion and pain that can affect day-to-day -day activities. When non-surgical treatments are no longer effective, an orthopedic surgeon may recommend total hip replacement. The direct anterior approach is a method of hip replacement that, unlike other surgical approaches, minimizes disruption of important muscles. Consider the importance of these muscles. Extensor muscles extend or pull the thigh backward and abduct or pull the thigh away from the other leg in movements like climbing stairs or getting in and out of a vehicle. The hamstring muscles connect the back of the hip to the front of the knee, helping to pull the hip backward in extension. The external rotator muscles help to stabilize the joint. The adductor muscles of the inner thigh pull the leg inward toward the other. The hip flexors pull the thigh forward, for example, in kicking movements. The direct anterior approach is performed through an incision in the front of the hip that goes between the abductor and flexor muscles. The surgeon is able to work through natural intervals between those important muscles without having to cut through them or detach them from their attachments to bone. Once the surgeon accesses the hip joint, the diseased head of the femur is removed. The hip socket, acetabulum, is prepared by using special instruments to make it the right size and shape for a new implant. A metallic shell with a cup-shaped liner is pressed into the prepared socket. The femoral head is replaced with an artificial ball on a stem that goes down into the hollow part of the thigh bone and may be pressed into place or cemented, depending on the surgeon's preference. The ball and socket are then placed together to complete the procedure. Preservation of your soft tissues may result in a faster return to weight-bearing activities, less pain, and a quicker overall recovery time. Keeping these muscles intact may also help reduce the likelihood of dislocation, which may occur when muscles weakened in surgery are not strong enough initially to keep the new femoral head in the socket. The patient can also avoid the pain of sitting on the incision site, since the anterior approach is performed through the front of the hip. The goal of hip replacement surgery is to alleviate pain and improve a person's quality of life. The specifics of recovery and rehabilitation will be determined by the surgeon based on a patient's condition.